Championship Boxing. Once upon a time, boxing offered an abundance of exciting fighters who transcended the sport. This show was really happy. Coming up, two of boxing's most promising and talked about fighters, Oscar De La Hoya and Roy Jones Jr., set to put their talents on display against two formidable opponents. So don't leave your set. Because this might not last long. The future of late, who gave De La Hoya a series of rehabilitative exercises, no surgery. Oscar essentially had a sprain of where the, the hand bone meets the wrist bone, okay? And it's very common in boxers. It's not career-threatening, and it's not going to cause him any trouble over the long term. Right now, I, I have no pain at all. I mean, mentally and physically, I'm just ready to go. Um, sometimes fighters are... are um, are kind of bothered by it mentally after it's it's well physically, but uh, with me, I mean, I'm I'm hitting harder. I'm I'm uh, I'm just working hard in the gym because uh, I've been doing weights on it, and it's just gotten much stronger than it was before. Larry Merchant, what's your take on how the hand bone will meet the wrist bone in Oscar De La Hoya's left jab and left hook? Well, the real point is how he deals with this. Uh, the fight game ain't as easy as he's made it look so far, I don't think. Uh, right? In a sport not known for its good guy images, it takes a special fighter with special qualities to rise above the politics and confusion. That fighter may be Oscar De La Hoya, an undefeated lightweight who is making people take notice for all the right reasons. But you can see De La Hoya side to side. Look at him spin off the ropes, out into the middle. This a kid that since so far I can't find any flaw with him at all. He seems to have it all. People like a fighter who doesn't have a bad image or, or a bad name, and, and a fighter who is a, a good role model. And probably that's why they picked me. That quest for stardom skyrocketed when De La Hoya won the United States Olympic boxing team's only gold medal at Barcelona last year. While fulfilling the dream of his deceased mother, Oscar also fulfilled his own, holding up two flags, demonstrating to the world his American citizenship and his Mexican ancestry. Whether the golden boy knew it or not, corporate America was already watching and preparing to jump on the De La Hoya bandwagon. When you take a look at his smile and, and his, his charisma and, and the magnetic attraction he has around the ring, people just gravitate to him. And, and that gives us a marketing opportunity that we think uh, might, be, might, might be very, very uh, useful and, and potentially explosive for all of us, including him. What makes De La Hoya's rise to celebrity even more amazing is that he's had only eight professional bouts, participating in a sport advertisers usually shy away from. He becomes the first Hispanic fighter across the one barrier that hindered even the public careers of Roberto Duran, Hector Camacho, and Julio Cesar Chavez. It's probably because they didn't speak English pretty well. You have to have that charisma, I guess, where people always talk about charisma. I don't even know what it is, <laughs> but you have to have that charisma. Um, the charisma. Um, Sugar Ray had it. Um, Muhammad Ali had it. But... I mean, again, they didn't know how to speak Spanish, so, I mean, I guess that advantage that I have is speaking Spanish and English. Especialmente cuando me dan todos esos consejos de boxeo. Y son gratis. Bueno. No me mucho tus hombros. Pero le vas al cuarto. Suscríbase al servicio Llama a MCI hoy mismo. Put education first. And please, 
stay away from drugs and gang violence. From his dad's Monte Carlo to his brother's Camaro to Oscar's Corvette. When you have a dream, anything's possible. Aside from MCI and Chevrolet, De La Hoya signed the multi-year six-figure deal with Champion Footwear. It's even designed and created its first set of boxing shoes just for Oscar. But his biggest endorsement to date is with Bum Equipment. As part of a long-term six-figure deal, De La Hoya's face will be seen on over 30,000 billboards across the country this fall, promoting the company's apparel. Bum's also designed the new ring wardrobe for De La Hoya's corner tonight. And come September, he'll have his own clothing line with his official logo and signature. We're going to have um, sweatpants and, and jeans and things like that, so it's really going to be a... a a clothesline that, that um, I guess college kids and, and uh, you know, high school kids and even grown-ups can, can use. So everybody's going to hopefully be happy with it and, and um, buy, buy the merchandise. But with endorsements and notoriety come more time constraints and the demand of juggling all the pieces in the puzzle, something the 20-year-old is only learning to cope with. I'm not afraid of burning myself out or nothing like that, but it's just that uh, I sometimes get frustrated because I have no more time for my son, but uh, I realize that after a while, it's going to get better. There's no question Oscar De La Hoya is a heavyweight outside the ring. Boxing now waits to see if he can live up to all these expectations with his fists. Back live at ringside in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi Casino Magic.